co-host, Kylie Jenner. Thank what? you so much for being here today, Kai. You're welcome. It's just super fun for all of us. I know this looks like all my other outfits, but I've tried to spice it up a little bit at least because it's Halloween! <laughs> it's about to be a spooky, spooky, doopy episode of Third Wheel. And not only are we dressed up, but our SUV Suburban is dressed up as a minivan! It has Woo! nothing to do with the fact that there was a recall on the SUVs and the production had to figure it out. It only has to do with the fact that this is Halloween and we're all dressed up. You guys know the drill. On Third Wheel, we find two random strangers. We sit them down in these seats right here. We put them through speed questions, challenges, games, all in hopes of seeing if they're compatible. And if they are, we are so kind and drop them off on a second date. If they aren't compatible, well, that sounds like a really big personal problem and we're just gonna kick you out of the car and have you figured out yourself later. I have Halloween parties to go to. I don't. He has no friends. No one invited me. Let's go find some spooky, spooky people ready to celebrate love and Halloween with us in this minivan on this episode of Third Wheel Third Halloween Wheel. Edition! Lauren, you should have worn a costume for today's episode. The order of funny yeah. in this car right now is the minivan at the top. That is totally. so funny. So funny. Then me, and then uh, maybe the guests that get in, depending on how funny they are. And then I swear to God, you're right there, Lauren. But at the top is the minivan, and that's what I'm trying to get at. You're making me feel like can we just pick up our first dater? Hi! Hi! Hi. Be careful, it's kind of spooky in here. Yeah, it's just a little <laughs> creepy. This is so weird. Right? Are you a Hershey kiss? No, I'm just myself. Guess what I am. I want to be Barbie. Well, technically, yeah. What's your name? I'm Emily. Hi, Emily. I'm Hi. Lauren. That's Hunter. And we are Hi, Hi, Hunter. We're going to be your love guides today. This is a special episode because it's a Halloween episode, Emily. So That's we're going to get super holiday. No way. Yeah. So, Emily, why did you get in this car? Why is a beautiful girl like you that loves Halloween so single? Um, I don't know. I think guys suck. Preach. Why do you think guys suck? What happened with your last boy? He just kind of ghosted me. How long were you guys together? Like six months. <gasps> He goes to for six months? What do you mean? Give me details, girl. Well, we were actually living together. What the heck? And then all of a sudden I come home and his steps out of the apartment and I thought we had a robber and there wasn't a robber. So we know what your type is not. What are you looking for in a guy? What's your type? They have to be like the macho man that can like because I'm a little hard to handle sometimes. But then they have to be kind of the sensitive, sweet kind of painter that can like, you know, paint me pictures or sing me songs. Like you specifically need a painter. No, like an artist. So they have to be like a sensitive, sweet artist, but like a macho man. Well, I have no control of what gets in the car. We're just gonna pick up someone random, but I can assure you that I'm gonna make you guys fall in love. What is one thing if he gets in this car, you're gonna be like, absolutely not, no way, kick him out right now, Lauren. If he just was like, I have to pee, and then he peed in the car, that okay, would be like Okay, yeah, a, like that's like super valid. Like that's that's happened twice, let's hope it doesn't happen yeah. again. I don't think that there's hand sanitizer in here for his hands, so I think that would be like. You don't have to wash your hands if it's just pee. What's wrong with you? He looks macho and he looks like a Whoa, he looks like a painter. Like literally, sure. swear to God, like exactly. Welcome to Third Wheel! Welcome to Third Wheel! What's your name, sir? I'm Brian. So, Brian, um, what brings you in this car, you single Pringle? Uh, just walking around, you guys picked me up, so now I'm in the car. Okay, let me get some first impressions of each other right now. Emily, what are you thinking? I feel like, um, you go on a mountaintop for a week and just meditate. What are you thinking? What do you think of Emily? Hmm, it seems like you're a very bright personality. You got the lipstick, which is like, you like to show like, like you know, your personality off and everything. Thank you. Nice eyes. Yeah, you got some nice <laughs> lipstick on too. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get into our next little fun game, which I like to call speed question. It's my nice. favorite thing in the world. Brian, since you got in the car second, you are actually in the hot seat, which means your seat is not only burning up, but you are on the spot, bro. I'm gonna basically gonna ask a bunch of questions and you're gonna answer them honestly and truthfully and we're gonna get to know each other. What's your favorite holiday, Brian? Favorite holiday, Christmas. Love Christmas. Emily, I know yours is Halloween, right? Yeah. How do you I love feel about Halloween. Christmas? I kind of hate it. <gasps> kind of hate Christmas? She's the I do hate Christmas. You got presents. I mean, like compared Bad to Halloween, presents. where you could dress up and be whoever you want. You dress up on Christmas yeah. and you get presents. What do you want to be for Halloween, Brian? Um, probably Elmo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've always Here enjoyed his voice and everything do like it. that. Do it. Do his voice. Hi, yo, Elmo. That's pretty bad, but I tried. That was the best. Bad. That, that wasn't bad, bad. That was cute. All right, really nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. I can't cool. do that. Did you guys grow up trick or treating? What's your favorite Halloween candy? Oh wow, Kit Kat bars right oh. off the bat. The little. Um, candy corn thing. 
candy corn. You like the candy corn? I would eat it. I like candy corn. High five. I would eat it so bad to the point when like my adult teeth came in. They came in fast because my my child teeth were like rotting because I would eat so much candy corn. You guys just made me so much more excited for Halloween. So now we're gonna play a game. Yay! <laughs> okay, guys. So we are gonna play a Halloween-inspired game because this isn't a Halloween-inspired episode, and it is called Bobbing in Beans. Emily, I know you can't actually bob for the kumquats, so we have made a special rule for you that you have to do it with your eyes closed, and you have ten seconds. If you don't beat me with your hands, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I love this competitive rivalry already. Fifteen seconds on the clock, and go. What are you looking at me for? Six, seven, Four. eight, nine. Stop! You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh! How'd I do? Good. How many did you get? Four. Four. That's not bad. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with four. Emily, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna turn your whole body towards the door. You're gonna stick your hand behind your back, your left hand with your eyes closed, oh, God. and then you're gonna reach. On the count of three, you have ten seconds. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ew! Oh, she didn't get it out. That's a count. She did. Done! Yes, I won. <laughs> she got two. It's two to four. Brian, you won! Victorious with the mouth. You're so good with your mouth, Brian. Thank you for noticing. Okay, guys, so Brian, you are the winner. Emily, I'm so sorry, but you're the loser. But don't worry, I have something special in store for you because I want to give you another chance to redeem yourself. Are you down? Yeah. So we have another cool. game for you guys, and it is called Smashing Pumpkin! Woo! That's you. Here's your bag. Can I hit him with this? Wow. No. You each get three hits, and whoever breaks it gets first dibs at whatever's in the pumpkin. Three, two, one, go. Smash the pumpkin. Oh my ah, god, so close two. to his hand. So close to his hand. Okay, the switch. Oh, I'm gonna win. <gasps> ah! Ah! All right, all right, that's it. What we didn't tell you is this pumpkin is made with Kevlar. Get it, Emily, get it, get it, get Kevlar. it. Oh, so close. Please, God, protect my hand. Oh. Ah! All right, here goes the handle. Just tear it open. What's inside? Whoa! It smells like coupons and. What is Tabasco this? sauce. Why is there poop in there? Oh, can There's I keep poop? the bat? This is the best Halloween ever. Ever. Oh, oh so Keeping all the sticky notes. Oh no, the, you that. throw I poop at me. Why did you throw thing. poop at me? I'm into that kind of stuff. That's so gross, it's that so might so be a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> what a great first date. Tell I get poo thrown at me. I have beans on the stump of my hair. This is the most successful first date I've ever had. All right, guys, here's your salad. So this is the time in the date where I get to sit back, relax, and I let you guys kind of talk about maybe what you would do on a second date. I'm gonna let you plan this. I'm a big adventure guy. I like to go do stuff. Like? like be outside, I don't know, go hiking, or Ooh, like go to the cool. beach, just go on the beach all day. Or, I'm not gonna lie, have you ever played Ding Dong Ditch? Yeah, when I was eight. Where? Yeah, dude, yeah, I still Wait, play Ding do? Dong Ditch. What are the things? You literally knock or bang on someone's door until they <gasps> Yeah, come let's run. do that. Yeah. I've been caught a few times because I was wearing heels and I couldn't you run You play fast. Ding Dong Ditch in heels? Yeah, oh, I wanted what? to look cute. What would a second date look like? Walk me through it. I'd pick you up first. Okay. But he would Ding Dong Ditch when he went to pick you up and he wouldn't be there at all. <gasps> God. What a sick <laughs> mind. You're mean. And then we'd have to do something romantic. Like? Uh... Back to my place, turn off all the lights, That's get weird. Romantic. That's pretty romantic. I'll light a candle. All right, Laura, I think it's decision I time. I think it's decision time, guys. This is the part of the show where Brian, you get out of the car with Hunter. You guys are gonna have some boy talk. Me and Emily are gonna stay in the car and have some girl talk. And then we'll see if the door is unlocked or locked if for you to get back in. If it's unlocked, see you soon. If it's not, bye. Oh, what's going on, man? It's not looking good, huh? It's like... I don't think she likes me at all. It's like for Halloween, you dressed up as this like really sweet guy, and then she dressed up as one of my bullies from middle school. Okay, Emily, tell me everything. What are you thinking? What's going on? <gasps> pros! I like the ding dong ditch thing. That's really funny. What were the pros and cons of the date, in your opinion? Pros, chicken nuggets. That Con has nothing to do with it. Okay, true. Very good. Um, I mean, if that's your only pro, chicken... Been chicken nuggets. That's your only... Chicken no, no, no. Ch I want all the challenges for the whole date. So again, just nothing to do with her, but that's okay. Con, I think, a little wishful thinking that I can go back to his place on the second date. That's something not really romantic to me, and it kind of just seems like that's all he would be using me for. I mean, he's really nice, 
But I felt like I was talking to my cousin. Now walk me through the cons. Cons. Uh, She's cons. mean to us. She wanted to play Ding Dong Dish with heels on. Her. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want to play? What do you want to play baseball with a celery stick? Hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> good luck. I'm gonna go head in, and then you wait a little bit, and then you see if it's unlocked, man. All good right, luck. Sounds good. Thank you. In your head, do you know your decision? Yes. Okay. Why? Wait, what, what happened? My final decision was you treated my boy Hunter way too mean. I think you'd be the same way to my friends. It's okay, my final decision was you reminded me of my cousin. Damn, is, is that a good thing or bad thing? Bad thing, I guess. Bad thing. Hey, try my door real fast. Try my door. Oh, Ooh! Yeah. Later, brother. The door's always That's open, fine. bro. I'll see you soon, man. Yeah, dude, definitely, man. Okay, guys, well. We didn't find love, we might have found a bromance, which is not the point of the show, but you know, it's Hunter's world, we're all just living in it. Thank you so much for being on today's episode of Third Wheel. Hopefully we can find you a spooky, spooky crush next time. And thank you, you guys so much for watching another episode of Third Wheel. Make sure to subscribe to us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, bye.